In February 25th, 1942, early in the morning, many cities alongside the Pacific coast of the United States were blacked out due to the thoughts of an incoming enemy aerial attack. However, this was not the case. Powerful military searchlights lit up the dark sky, leaving the whole city of Los Angeles silent. The great silence was broken by a barrage of explosions due to the army opening fire upon the unidentified object. Now in this footage you can see an example of our military's anti-aircraft weaponry today. The blackout continued up until dawn and people needed an explanation for the massive gunfire that made headlining news the morning of. No one had any idea of what had happened or what went down that night. With the country in its second world war, this event eventually became swept under the rug. However, years later, the episode had made its way back to the public eye, and people believed the government were trying to cover up the story. The conspiracy is now known as the Battle of Los Angeles. On December 7th, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, sinking many U.S. naval ships. This was an act of terrorism that led the U.S. into the Second World War. Warlords of Japan boasted that they had knocked out the American fleet, which was very nearly the truth, although they themselves didn't believe it. More battle pictures with... As the war went on, Japanese submarines were patrolling the Pacific coast and would even destroy U.S. ships along the coastline regularly. Alerts and blackouts became the norm for the entire west coast because fear of another surprise attack from the Imperial Army was anticipated. Over two months later, on February 23rd, people's fears were realized as yet another attack had erupted. An Imperial submarine had opened fire on the coast causing minimal damage but ended up putting even more fear into the people's minds. In Los Angeles, two days later, around 2 a.m., the U.S. Army picked up an enemy aircraft on their radar by the coast, and the troops were given the order to ready the cannons to fire. As the aircraft came closer to the city of Los Angeles, it was blacked out, so the enemy was more visible to see. The anomaly quickly vanished from the radar, but there were still witnesses of a plane or blimp of some sort in the air. The order to fire had been made and the sky above Los Angeles was flooded with gunfire. There was just as many people stating that they had seen planes as there were people stating that there was nothing. Hours later, the weapons ceased fire. The government's initial reports were 50-50. One official stated that there were no bombs or planes that had fallen. Shrapnel was the only thing that fell from the sky. Another said that there was a fleet of 15 planes that had flown over the city. This is hard to believe considering that no planes or signs of them had fallen. The day of days for America and her allies. Crowds before the White House await the announcement from the President that the Japs have surrendered unconditionally. I have received this afternoon a message from the Japanese government in reply to the message forwarded to that government by the Secretary of State on August 11th. I deem this reply a full acceptance of the Potsdam Declaration, which specifies the unconditional surrender of Japan. In the reply, there is no qualification. The war between the Americans and Japanese had came to an end, with the U.S. being on top. The Battle of Los Angeles had resurfaced and many government testimonies had stated that there were reports of commercial planes being flown by unauthorized citizens, and even a balloon with a flare attached to it had been deployed. There was no evidence of Japanese involvement, therefore there had to be another explanation. In 1948, a former Air Force major and college professor by the name of William Goss was given access to all the classified evidence from that night. 
he came to the conclusion that the unidentified object was in fact a weather balloon. Reasons being because the object was slow moving and there were reports of two army officials stating that there had been two weather balloons released with a flare that same night. What raises the question in this theory was how did over 1400 rounds of ammunition not bring down a weather balloon? This gave the people enough reason to insist the theory of it being a UFO. From Santa Monica and disappeared south of Long Beach. Army officials declined to comment on the possibility that the object might have been a blimp. However, it required nearly 30 minutes to travel some 25 miles. A probable outcome of what took place that night could be as follows. Around 1 a.m., there was a weather balloon that was released in Los Angeles. This was then reported by the Army and could have been mistaken for a zeppelin given the dark sky. 3 a.m. is around the time the barrage took place, thus destroying the weather balloon, or it could have escaped by ascension. During the fire, a second balloon is released. Given all the smoke from the gunfire, this could give the illusion of multiple targets in the sky. This evidence is supported by an executive officer by the name of Henry Davis, who stated that he was deceived by the gun smoke that gave the illusion of a fleet of planes.